Hi, in this particular video we're looking at calculating the nth term for the quadratic sequence, or at least we're told it's the following sequence, we're not actually told initially it's a quadratic, however we are going to be able to spot that because if we look at the difference between the first term or the first level differences, we're going to get... Um, these different numbers which are not the same so therefore it's, if it's not the same it's not an arithmetic difference okay so what we've got to do with this is treat it as a quadratic difference okay so we're going to be effectively creating something that's going to look like a n squared plus b n plus c and our job today really is to find out the value of a the value of b and the value of c OK, so the value of A is relatively straightforward to find because effectively it's half of the second difference, which in this particular case is minus 6. OK, so what we're saying is this minus 6 is the equivalent to two lots of A. So if it's the equivalent to two lots of A, then one lot of A would make that minus 3. OK. The next bit of this is to say, well, actually, this number, and this is an equation that you need to remember, minus 7, this number is equivalent to 3a plus b, OK? So I can actually take this information and calculate my value of b because I already know my value of a. So I could write 3a plus b equals minus 7. And I know my value of a is minus 3, so I've got 3 times minus 3 plus b equals minus 7. Well, 3 times minus 3 is going to be minus 9 plus b equals minus 7. OK, now in order to solve this, I need to add b to both sides. If I add b to both sides, uh, if I add 9 to both sides, I'm going to get b equals minus 2. So this value here will be minus 2. Then the final part of this is this top number is the equivalent to a plus b plus c. OK, so I can write a plus b plus c equals 18. OK, so I've got my value of a, which is going to be minus 3. I've got my value of b, which is going to be, I beg your pardon, plus 2 plus 2. OK, I've got my value of uh, C, which I'm going to calculate in a moment, and that's equal to 18. So minus 3 plus 2 is going to be minus 1 plus C equals 18. Add 1 to both sides, I'm going to get C equals 19. So the final part of this is where C equals positive 19. So if I put all of that together, rather than writing... Um, a n squared plus b n plus c, I can write that as the nth term equals minus 3 n squared plus 2 n plus 19. And that would be the answer to the first part of the question. OK, hope that's all right for you. So the second part of the question is calculate the tenth term in the sequence. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 10 and we're simply going to plug it into this formula where we see the, num the letter n. So the tenth term is going to be minus 3 times 10 squared plus 2 times 10 plus 19. OK, so be careful here because we've got to adhere to bid mass, which is the order in which we do things. So we're going to work with the index first. So 10 squared is 100. OK, so I've got minus 3 times 100 plus 20 plus 90. Well, minus 3 times 100 is going to be minus 300 plus 20 plus 19. And if you calculate that out, you're going to get minus 261. So in this particular case, the tenth term is going to be minus 261. And that would answer that particular question. OK, hope that's been useful to you. Please do add a video, uh, comment below and I'll always come back to you. And I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.